I I do it very well. I We were in touch with the, the team from over here from the St. Catherine South Division and pushed additional assets into the space both from us, uh, from other police formations but also uh, from the Jamaica Defence Force. So that has been holding since. We have been after the people who did this and we understand that in among the people were not just men who came over but also women who are willing to come over and burn out other women and children. Um, but that's indicative of the sort of threat that we have been facing as a police force and we will continue to do so, we're up to the task. We will go and find these people. We already um, engaged some of them this morning. Uh, they managed to escape, um, but we will be on them. Uh, we have identified a number of them, and we'll be following up on that. Some wanted um, uh, persons will be put out on Wednesday. A series of wanted persons who are going, to, who are involved in exactly what happened here. This is, uh, as um, the Member of Parliament said, this is, this is an act of terror. And I don't know how else one could describe this. And the fear in the people here is palpable, but it doesn't just stop here. It extends beyond here. Because if people can be in the country, in Jamaica, and being burnt out of their homes like this, then this is something that we have, can only address in the most um, forceful fashion to recover the space and ensure that the rule of law obtains everywhere in Jamaica and especially here. So the people here, I can rest assured that we will remain as long as the threat is there and beyond that we will be after the threat to carry them before the courts and that justice will be served in this matter.